Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Han Lu, and my PhD is focusing on the impact of cover crop practice on soil water and health in dryland cropping system. Um, first of all, I would like to acknowledge Soil CRC and USQ for funding my PhD study, and my special thanks to Lucas, Terry, and Cassandra. Um, so why cover cropping? Um, the advantages of integrating cover crops of, for conserving soil health has been substantiated in many farming situations around the world, such as these benefits, increasing organic matter, reduce soil erosion, and weed and disease suppression, enhance crop yields, and also some underground benefits such as increased nutrient availability and efficiency, and also enhancing microbial diversity and activity. And why is soil water management important? Soil water drives crop growth and yield and abundance and functions of organisms and water cycle of the cropping systems. In northern and western Australia, soil water is a, uh, plant available water is often a limiting factor. The subsequent crop production is heavily relying on the amount of rainfall received and the stored soil moisture at planting time and the need for improved soil water management will increase in the changing climate. And um, with proven success in improving soil health and productivity, the role of cover crops in rain-fed cropping system and their in, uh, effect on soil water storage and soil biological function has not been fully explored and there is still a lack of understanding of the mechanisms behind changes and the effectiveness of their impact at the system level. And furthermore, the trade-offs between variation in soil water, soil organic carbon, nitrogen mineralization, and soil microbial can have an integrated influence on the system productivity, which should be analyzed at the system level as well. Uh, therefore, uh, my PhD uh, study will aim to identify, understand, and monitor indicators of soil physical quality and biological function that are involved in complex biophysical processes under cover cropping practices. And this study will also assist in implications in enhancing cropping system design and decision making process through modeling practices. Um, in, uh, during my PhD study, on-farm trials was conducted to uh, investigate the effect of summer cover crop on soil water distributions across uh, soil profile over the growing seasons, and along with surface soil TLC, labor OC, and AMF, and also we monitored crop biomass and yield and grain quality at the cash crop season. Um, we have some interesting results, but due to time constraints, I'll just show a few important ones. Um, the termination time of summer cover crop affected the soil water at sowing time of winter wheat, and the, with the greater soil storage was observed in the early terminated plots. Um, we also found that the impact of soil organic as uh, uh, with impact of cover crop termination on soil total organic carbon and labor organic carbon varied um, in different treatment plots and um, due to the different uh, residual inputs. Uh, our results also showed um, that winter wheat planted on early terminated cover crop plots contributed to increases in biomass, yield, grain protein content, and also screening size. And more importantly, our results also suggest that surface soil moisture at planting played a significant role uh, in yield. 
Um, this is uh, my graphical abstract for the journal, and I think I will use that as my uh, outcomes. So overall, the findings suggest that summer cover cropping with timely termination can have implications in managing soil water at sowing time and enhancing soil water storage during the season and also increasing soil carbon accumulation and uh, facilitating microbial activities while enhancing productivity of the dryland cropping system. Yes, that's all, thank you.